question is, do you think you're supposed to abandon your friends for an ex or for your current boyfriend? Y'all miss me? I'm back. What's up? How y'all been? How y'all been? I'm going to tell y'all how I've been, but as y'all can see, I got a little set up. Got a little cheer. Whatever. Got a little cheer. But welcome back to Solo and Society Podcast. I'm Sean. And welcome back. I missed y'all. I, I really did. You know, a little short of the love on a couple episodes, but it's all right. We're going to still post and we're going to keep going. Before we get into today's episode, I just want to say, like, although things have been looking a little little down, a little bleak, whatever, everything's going to turn around, okay? If you out there and you seem like things aren't going your way and things are moving a little slower than usual, just know. We gonna be all right, okay? We gonna be all right. I've been recently don't don't look at the pants that don't match the shirt. I just needed a shirt. I just got home from work, but don't don't look at it as things are never gonna turn around, right? Always look at the brighter side of things. I've been learning that as well. But let's go on to get into the topic. Like let's let's get into the episode. I got a few stories, got a few questions. I'm gonna answer and get my feedback on. But again, go ahead and like the video. Before you view it, while you're viewing it, leave a like on the video. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. Give me topics. And if you want to join the podcast to be a guest on it or whatever, or you just want to give your feedback on it, comment down below. And don't forget to share and subscribe. We're almost to 200. As y'all can see by the title, we're doing like a topic of finding, finding balance. Basically, so I got my iPad right here, my handy dandy notes, finding balance in relationships, friendships, just finding balance in your life in general. I'm kind of answering some questions, giving y'all some tips, giving y'all my personal experience. First things first, we're going to ask the first question and feel free to answer the question down below in the comments too. That's the hardest part about when you first start talking to someone. Okay, so I guess I will answer that as the hardest part of when you first start talking to somebody is really kind of finding that connection, finding that time to like really sit down and get to know them on a personal level. Um, trying to find out what you have in common is a big one. I just honestly, I just feel like really finding that connection more than a physical connection. You need to find that minute, like that mental connection where y'all are on the same page. Because I feel like a lot of people they get try to find someone to talk to. And it's never a good fit, but you think they're so attractive. Like, you think they're, like, I got the thing with that. You think they're so attractive. You think they're just the one just because they look so good. But no one ever, I feel like no one ever goes deeper into that. And they never, basically, they never, they never see beyond the beauty, beyond the attraction. And I feel like that's where people like mess up when they start first talk, talking about it. like yeah you look good but where's your head at how mature are you in certain situations how can not you help me better myself and how can I help you better you you know what I mean I just feel like that's probably the hardest thing is like finding that connection getting on board with each other even though you're just talking you're just getting to know each other like you just you need to deep down dig deep enough to really figure out like is this really what you want? Like, I feel like for me, like I talked about before, if you, if I'm talking to you and it's like the first day we're talking, right? You're getting to know each other, asking them basic ass question. Hey, what's your color, favorite color? What's your name? Middle name, birthday. Like, what do you like to do? Basically, like basic shit like that, right? Like, I feel like once you get past that, once you run out of questions to ask, like the basic questions to ask, you kind of go, you need to, I feel like everybody needs to go on a deeper level, like, what are your future plans? What do you what do you currently want to do with your life? What did you what are you doing right now that you wanted to do in the past or what you want to like work towards type of thing? Like what is shit like what is your family like? Do you have a good relationship with your family? Cuz I personally I have a good relationship with my, with most majority of my family. I would say all actually. I have a good relationship. We're going to say majority just just the same time. Where I have a good relationship with majority of my family and basically I feel like if I have a good like not everybody's gonna have a great relationship with their family but I never want somebody that has like that can 
I guess that they call it trauma dumping. Because a lot of people, you know, bond over that. A lot of trauma dumping. I feel like if you have a a good relationship with your family, that's 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 number one for me. Um, and then overall, just I lost my train of thought. Yeah. But if you have a good relationship with your family, that's that's number one. Um, being mature in your mind. And then overall, just really knowing how to carry conversation. I feel like that that's those are big things for me. Like if I can't be random with you and just or just sit in silence with you on the phone, like we can be on the phone for hours. And I'm not saying anything. Like, I occasionally, like, throw a little something here and, here and there out there. But other than that, like, just the overall me being comfortable in your space, even though you're not physically here with me, I feel like that's that's a big thing for me. But like I said, for most people, they can't get past the the beauty aspect. Like, be- like I say, beauty is an eye of the beholder. That may be true, but also, like, I, you have to go a lot deeper, like, People are so superficial, and you need to go like very internal to get to know somebody. That I feel like that's the hardest part. A lot of people deal with. I say all that to say that this is the most hardest part people have to deal with is just getting past. Oh, you look good because everybody goes for looks nowadays. I feel like looks are important, but also personality. Like I said, they're mental. Like. Tell me your wildest dream. Tell me your deepest secret and and tell like that that you can trust me with your deepest secret type of thing. That's 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 kind of where I'm getting with that. I know it sounds like all over the place, so hopefully y'all 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 caught on. Cause at the end we 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 start somewhere and we bring it back. You know what I mean, so number two question. Shout out to Jade by the way, y'all. Jade, uh, one of the people who watch the podcast. She's she's a really chill friend. Um. She actually helped me along with this topic. Um, you know, shout out to you. Appreciate it. How do you find balance between how much of yourself to give to someone you just started talking to when you feel there's an instant connection? I feel like that kind of goes hand in hand with the first question, actually. So when you're first talking to somebody, like I said, you're getting to know them. They're getting to know you. I feel like you shouldn't. I know I said, you know, tell me your deepest, darkest, like deepest, darkest secret and and feel that you can trust me with it. When I say that, I, like not right off the bat. Like that's that's after talking for a week. Let me let me clarify. That's after talking for like a week to two weeks, and then anything deeper than that than a month. So say you're talking to someone for a month, right? And you you're y'all are feeling each other like it. It's y'all are clicking, clicking from the jump. After two weeks, y'all y'all start clicking, and you want to get to know them on a much, much, much deeper level, like, in telling, like, your deepest, darkest secret, like, shit you never told anybody, things, things of that nature, right? So I feel like the way you would find balance in that is kind of gauging where that person's head is and then going from there. If you can't read the person, uh, most people are pretty good at reading people. Like, I feel like I'm pretty good at reading somebody. Like, I can tell when I can actually tell you like a whole bunch of things. Like I'm not gonna tell you my whole life story at the beginning, but now I'll give you a snippet and to see how you react to it, right? So I feel like giving someone like a little short snippet of like a deep dive into like your a childhood story that kind of like not traumatized you in a way, but like kind of stuck with you to the point where you felt the need to share it with somebody. Right, I feel like you should just really gauge the conversation and then go from there. I feel like that's really a key to finding a balance. Like if you find an instant connection with somebody, kind of gauge the situation, gauge them on how much you think they're telling you about like something deeper. Like cuz if y'all y'all clicking like this, then you, you're kind of instantly feeling that like, "Oh, I can trust you." But not everyone's like that, right? So, I just feel like kind of gauging the conversation gauging the person what have they told you right what have they told you how much have you told them and how what what all did they kind of get deep into when they told you things when y'all are getting to know each other while y'all are getting to know each other 
So I feel like gauging the conversation, gauging them is a great way to try to find that balance to where, um, like, when you find that instant connection, find that gauge them, really figure out, like, what all have they told you before you try to really get instantly hooked on. Like, you are never letting them go. You're getting crazy obsessed type of thing. Hope that helped. Um, I don't think I ever had, like, a actual... I'm not, I I have had like an instant connection, not like not too many, because I really don't get attached to people like that. You, I really have to feel that like instant spark, right? Had that instant spark. <laughs> nah, but yeah, I just feel like just gauging the conversation. I don't. I feel like when I first started talking, and ooh, my voice kind of cracked. I feel like when I first started talking to each this person. There was a de- there was definitely an instant connection. I did not tell them everything right off the bat. Like I told them some things, but you all, like I said, I gauged what all they were telling me at first. Like after like two weeks to a month, because two weeks, like two weeks in, I was like, yeah, this this actually might go somewhere type of thing, right? And then prior to like g- going beyond that. I was like, okay, I'm filling it out a little bit. I can probably tell you a little bit more. And as time go, as time went on, I, boom, everything started spilling. We started telling each other everything. And that's another thing. Don't overshare. I I haven't overshared anything, and they haven't overshared anything. It's just stuff like we'll talk about random things, and then boom, you like everything starts come out, and then like. You gotta. I feel like most people, if they heard our conversation, they'd be like, "Damn, y'all really tell each other everything, y'all, y'all, like past, present, future type shit." We do. I feel like not everybody would be able to get that. You know, like I feel like gauging is a huge. I'm gonna keep saying that gauging is a huge thing when it comes to getting to know somebody to like to wanting to pursue them further than just like the talking stage so i just i just feel like no one would if you just don't overshare you know oversharing could either pull them closer in a good a good way or pull them closer in a bad way which is a thing or push them further apart that y'all are back at stage 1 and eventually not talking anymore so i feel like really think about how much you want to share with the person before you share it with the person. You feel me? I hope I hope that makes sense. But I, that's just my little aspect on it, and like a little tidbit of what happened when I talk to people. Uh, oh, excuse me. Personal now. Um. So uh, the other thing, I would, another question. I I guess it's like a question and answer type of thing. Yeah, it's like a question answer type of video, uh, type of episode. Um, question three: What is a what is usually a telltale sign that you should start pulling back from a connection? That was a great. That's a great question. I'm gonna have to think about that a bit. Like I didn't pre prep myself for these questions. Like I read them a little bit, but I I kind of want to get my like raw thing instead of reading directly from my iPad, right? So an instant connection, an instant, uh, instant telltale sign you should pull back from a connection. In my opinion, most other people may have a different opinion than me. But again, it's my podcast. I can talk a little fuck I want. Anyway, so a telltale sign you should pull back from an instant connection is. I feel like, again, when you're sharing more than the other person is. Or they use like, yeah, when you're sharing more than the other person is and then. They're just not willing to open up as more as you, as much as you, like y'all feeling each other. Y'all are y'all eventually start hanging out. Y'all chilling. There's I feel like there's a no. Let me not say that. Let me <laughs> cut that out. But over you you're telling more than the other person is like giving you're giving out more information information about yourself than the other person is. I feel like at that point. You should just, you, you should, that's just something you should click in your head about, all right, um, they're not giving what they gave in the beginning 
or they're not telling as much as I'm telling, like not trying to go deeper and understand them a little bit more. Like, what makes you nervous? What makes you tick? Like, I'm telling you all these things and I'm not getting any of that like feedback back from you about like the same questions I'm, I'm the same things I'm telling you basically, right? So I feel like when you're telling them stuff and they're not willing to, you know, give that same energy back, then I feel like you should just let it go a little bit. Like, let go and let God. God removes people from your life for a reason. That's all I got to say. If people, if God is, if you saying people leave from your life, whether you're talking to them, whether it's a friendship, family member, anything like that, if they're leaving from your life for like just randomly, just telling y'all, that's God. God is leaving these people out your life for a reason. Not trying to get like spiritual or anything like that, but that just kind of clicked in my head. Let them go. Don't even try to fight for them to come back. If they come back, it's not always meant to be. Let me just say that. It's not always meant to be. Keep that in mind. But yeah, if the energy's not reciprocated from you to them or from them to you, it ain't it. Let it go. Don't even question it. Don't even be like, don't I feel like don't even like don't even pray on it. Like if there's if it's not there and you're you're forcing it, definitely let that go. And just say thank thank you for for showing me that this person was not for me. That's that's all. That's it. Number four. Is your approach to everyone you talk to the same? Oh oh, that's for me. Not nah, giving advice. Um, <laughs> for me, I feel like I approach when I talk to somebody. I approach I approach everyone a little differently because not everyone's the same. Not saying that I use lines or anything, because really, for me, if you watch this and I ever talk to you, which is not a whole lot of people, trust me, really not. I don't even like people like that. I don't even like putting myself in that predicament, that situation to get denied, rejected. Yeah. <laughs> but my approach to talking to people are is not the same. I personally feel like like I said, everybody's different. So when I when I talk to like recent the the recent person I I'm talking talk to currently talking to my approach to them wasn't the same approach I used on the previous person I tried to talk to. All right, so the previous person I tried to talk to. Damn, I'm really thinking of the pro- maybe it's the same approach, but I feel like, okay. Let me let me scratch that. All my approaches are similar, not the exact same, but they are similar. Because, like I said, depending on how much you're willing to tell me, how much you're willing to basically like interact with me, like if I'm telling you something, um, or I can say random shit, or like I said, if I can sit and silence you, or we can just. I could just say something random and that instantly spark a conversation that goes into another conversation that kind of goes into another conversation and then circle back to that original conversation. Th- then I pursue that a little differently. Like I'll go, I'll be like, all right, this might go somewhere. And a lot of people I talked to in the past, that really wasn't the case. Like a lot of people I talked to really just majority of them, like I said, it hasn't been a lot. So majority of them, really just wanted me to touch on their private parts and that's really gross and they wanted to probably touch on my private parts when I just all in all just wanted to just actually talk to you and get to know you so if you thought when I approached you that is what I wanted you were sadly mistaken because that is not what I wanted I wanted to talk to you get to know you see where it goes and along down the line, maybe. Maybe. But so with this current one, I guess I could say like it went like I said, let's explain a little scenario about how we talk, different conversation, circle back to the conversation and continue a conversation. Although I'm not much of a talker, even though I'm I'm kinda talking a lot right now, I kinda have to. But if I don't it, I'm not much of a talker. Anybody can tell you that. But when I feel like talking and you talk back and you were like engaging in conversation with me, 
I feel like that that that, that was it for me. Like not saying a conversation automatic automatically gets you access to getting me to speak up to speak out more or to tell you more things i'm just saying that's kind of initial i still have to gauge what the situation is how is it going how are you how how do i think you're feeling and i, I will i'll definitely ask like are you feeling what, what you feeling like like what what worse is going type of thing i feel like those are that's an important question although it may seem cliche and it may people may be like we just talking, but I feel like that's very important to still ask, if, especially if you've been talking for a while. If it's not already, like, if you're not already on that same page and y'all know y'all on that same page, I feel like asking where this, where is, where is this going is very important and very beneficial. Because if it's if they don't want to answer and they're like, "Oh, we just kicking it," or "We just, we just, we just, you know," type shit, I feel like that's instant that you need to let it go, right? Um. Yeah, but like I said, with this current one, I we conversation we instantly clicked. Conversation was good, different conversations, and like even hanging out with them, it was just that light is hitting. Oh my god! <laughs> even hanging out with them was just it, it was just it was dope. Like we're still talking to this day. Okay, we we still we still fucking. I don't, again, they can vouch. I don't talk very much, but when I do, I, I'll, I'll talk. I'll carry conversation. That's, you, that's, that's usually how it goes. And that's, that's my answer to that, basically. I forgot. I lost my train of thought. Before we get into our last question and my last little mini section, section, last little mini section. Yeah. Um, I just want to add real quick, if y'all get to this part, if you don't, Hey, so be it. But if you do, thank you. I appreciate it. Stay to the end, I promise. Because I got a question for y'all. Um, real quick, I appreciate the support that everybody has given um as of late. Like I said, we're on the we're at one forty. We're on the way to two hundred. Um, by the end of this year, I am planning to have five hundred. I ain't gonna lie to you. We like to crank out these videos, eventually get some collabs going. If I don't ever get a collab until next year, then that's God's plan for me, and I'm gonna keep rocking this solo thing till the wheels fall off. I don't. If y'all wanna just give me topics, that's great. But yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Um, make sure y'all like the video. If y'all haven't already at this point in the video, go ahead and like the video for me. Share it. If you don't have a YouTube channel, like just create one real quick, right? Just create one. Is you don't gotta post something. It's just so you're able to like the video. Like, it really, really helps. If I get a lot of likes on your YouTube, pushes the channel a lot more. And if you share it, more people reach it. Like, just share it one time. Share it to Snapchat. If no one clicks on it, at least I know you shared it. And let me down, know down in the comments if you shared it, you liked it, and what com what topics you want me to talk about. Like, topics, the best advice giver, but I try my best and I feel like I, I put my own little spin on it, which is getting into the last and final question, question five. It says, how do you typically bounce back from a connection that did not work? So, sorry, I'm gonna put you, put you. How do I, how do I, how did, I'm personally do, how do I, how do I, how did I bounce back from a connection that didn't work? And then I'm going to kind of give y'all advice how you possibly could bounce back from a connection that didn't work, right? All right. So, um, first, personally, how I bounced back from a connection that didn't work was basically just, I don't know. I guess uh, Okay, so I guess I can say that I just automatically just got off the little, I guess you would call it dating scene. I, I got off like little apps or whatever that, you know, little dating apps, little Tinder, little, all those types of apps. I got, I got off those for a while and really just kind of set with myself. Like sitting with yourself is okay. Being alone is okay. I talked about this before, I believe, but being with yourself is okay. I think if something didn't work, don't force it. Just kind of recollect yourself, go along. If somebody, if you eventually want to get back on the apps and like after a while, I say do that. Cause that's in like, that's kind of what I did. I got off there for 
at least six months to a year, I believe, I got off. And then eventually, December, January, Jan- January 2022, I got back on there and tried again. Initially, really looking for friends. Like, just something, just to make conversation with, like, not, not no serious type shit. And then, boom, you know, friends, instant connection that I was talking about prior to all this. Um, so, I feel like just staying to yourself, like, try your best, like, uh, don't force anything that didn't work. If it didn't work, it's for a reason. That wasn't your person, that wasn't your time to get jump into anything. And just, just kind of just sit with yourself for a little bit. Don't dwell on it. Kind of just get up, pick yourself up, move on. Take yourself on a little date. Collect yourself. Really just think about some self-care things that you could do. And then roll with that. Roll with the punches. And again, after however long you feel is best for you to get back on, like start talking to people again. I say do that. There's no certain, certain time frame. But I do know it's not three days to a week. Because if you... Moving that fast, you you're obviously not taking care of your mental, and you just want somebody to talk to right then and there. Like you have to have someone to talk to. No one ever has to have anybody to talk to all day, every day. Like if you have your person, you're in a relationship, fine. But also in a relationship, you, you guys do need y'all space. So like texting, fine. Like you know, if I I take naps, so they know if I'm taking a nap or if I, they if they're taking a nap, like, nine times out of ten, if they're either busy or that they're taking a nap, which is fine. So, but just really give your, yourself that self, that care to not think about having to talk to somebody. Again, you don't need to talk to anybody all the fucking time. Hear that. You don't need to have 50 hoes on your line all day, every day, hitting you up at all type times of the night. You don't need to talk to somebody all day, every day. Your phone is okay to be dry. Don't. Your phone don't need to be. It's okay to be dry. It's okay, it's okay to be the Sahara, Sahara Desert. Oh, you're quick. It's okay to be alone. Take care of yourself and then jump back into talking to people. After you take care of your mental, you took care of yourself. All right. I just hit myself. My nose is really itchy. But that that's I say that all out of love. <laughs> love. It's gonna be okay. I promise. It's fine. Hi, son. Y'all better be doing it back too. High five me. Don't be rude. Don't be rude. Make sure you like the video though. That's my high five. Go ahead. That's all I have for that for finding balance within friendships, relationships. This goes hand in hand with relationships. I feel with with friendships. So friendships, find a balance. Relationships, find a balance. Like this is my last little question, but that that goes hand in hand. I know they talk about friendships that much, but this one, this question, this question is for the girls. Question is: Do you think you're supposed to abandon your friends for an ex or for your current boyfriend? Let me know down in the comments down below. That is your question for today. Let me know. I ain't going to answer it. But let me know. Okay? If y'all made it to the end, make sure y'all already liked the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And answer my questions. Okay? Answer it down below. That's how I know I made it. y'all made it to the end. I might put it at the beginning just to see and just cut it off so I can answer it at the end. Stay tuned to the end. It may not start off the greatest, but it always ends the best. That's a nice little quote. It may not start off the greatest, but it always ends with it always ends the best. I'm fucking up my own quote. <laughs> Put it on a t-shirt. But y'all, that is today's episode. This week, that's today. That's this week's episode. I hope y'all enjoy. Um, final words, final remarks. Keep your head up. Everything's gonna be okay. Take care of yourself. Take care of your mental. And until next time. Solo and Society Podcast. I'm Sean. Peace.